Hello, what's up, YouTube? Today you will learn GLINet Traveler Giga Router, very tiny. Probably for semi professional, can utilize router at the max. And you will learn these tips and tricks below topics today. Compare GLINet Traveler routers, initial settings, speed test, then one with, the, with without VPN, repeater, VPN client, VPN server, and advanced. Okay, so this is the official website that uh, basically they support 300 megabit per second, 2.4 gigaband, and 433 megabit per second, 5 gig Wi Fi speed, 128 gigabyte max micro SD, which is you can transfer your data from an SD card from a router. Then they have a three ports, uh, that's a giga, each of the ports has a 1 gig speed. And uh, these are basically the website where you can set up the number of the companies out there. Uh, basically, privacy is safe with the, these companies. So that's including the Open VPN where I have uh, set up. I'll show you later on the demo. The shell filing across the devices uh, features, like I said, 128 gig uh, compatibility. So, uh, sorry, this is a transfer. Is basically depends on the Wi-Fi. Then the basically supports up to 128 gig uh, SD RAM. Uh, regarding the mask your online identity with the VPN, you can do the Open VPN or WireGuard VPN. Uh, Basically, there are a number of the factors on the speed and uh, 68 megabit per second, basically wired one that connect to the port. Then the OpenVPN, I tested it actually pretty fast enough for any other software out there. So uh, depends on, like I said, test a conducted local network, real speed may be different. Yeah, uh, so OpenVPN speed is slower running a device as a router. So basically, if you have OpenVPN on, uh, set up on the router, um, uh, it's not too bad also. Then also cloud failure D DNS over T TLS. That's where you wanted to set up the DNS to known to your router outside world. If you wanted to access the router to access, access from outside. The pre-configuration multicast for uh, LSP500 Pro system. This is where you can set the uh, older speakers. Then also um, these are open WRT supported the features of VPN open open ones, uh, open VPN, a gigabit uh, feature three ports and 128 max for micro SD and do band Wi-Fi, do, uh, do band Wi-Fi pretty much fast uh, enough to actually bring your data, um, so that's good. And do flash and uh, has a chip on it. And also VPN server clients and uh, high speed 750. Uh, this is uh, the AC 750 wireless, so it's not the speed. Earlier I mentioned about the 300 and 450 around that time. Then power to SOC, which is uh, the higher end of the C uh, CPU, uh, which is this one. Then also just going through this uh, particular most important ones. Uh, let's look at the Yes, um, so the tip is that uh, your older devices only support 2.4, so if it is good, you have a two bands. At least uh, support, the new one is 5 gig band, is a uh, newest one, they support something you can find 5 gig, it might take some time to search for it. And uh, this, uh, they say uh, external drive format, these are good format to support it, and also some of the, uh, yeah. So this is a spec, I'll talk about it. So next I'm going to talk about, so next we are talking about uh, initial setting, how to set up the admin password LAN scan to check all network. The network uh, uh, set up as a repeater, then also repeater mode. Uh, repeater mode means that access point extends the range of the existing Wi-Fi network. This mode is suitable for when you are in Wi-Fi dead zone or place with a weak signal. So let me uh, log into it. Now I already set up so I'm going to set as default. Uh, you can just uh, check this, uh, see if you can make it default setting. So this is how to do the revert the firmware. Okay, I'm going to make it uh, revert now. So it's like this. Uh, it takes three minutes or something. So just watch. So done in uh, revert, you see this. 
they will ask you to restart it. So basically you need to change your Wi-Fi information because after doing this, you will pick up the uh, original Wi-Fi or something is not connected to it. So you need to connect the Wi-Fi. Then you will ask the, your setting for initial settings, choose your language, then set the password. This is the uh, uh, initial settings. So basically it tells you where it's actually connected to WLAN, clients. This is one client which is myself connected to it. Then if it's uh, cable is connected, it will uh, highlight like the green. The name of the, the Wi-Fi which is you, you need to change. So tips can disable 2.4 band. If you have a latest device, you really don't need to enable the 2.4. Then also under Wi-Fi, everything default. So you will need to change the seat name. Reason of changing a seat is for security. So some uh, can guess which router you have. Then also you should change your Wi-Fi key, which is default one. You can look it up the uh, default path online, so it's not secured. Now you're going to set up the repeater. Basically you need to pick up your original Wi-Fi, which is you have a, a Wi-Fi network, or just go to um, existing router, which has Wi-Fi. So, this is acting as a repeater. Go to internet, then repeater, then click scan. No internet connection found. New network, if you connected to it, basically your Wi-Fi. Uh, after change the wireless information on the SIT name, you need to connect to your uh, new SIT. Then, then you can just log in again. So you will search Wi-Fi. Find your fastest network, which is 5G. Then enter the password, then succeed it. So now it's connected to it. So you, your, this is IP address that is assigned to your router, then net, net, uh, subnet mask and a gateway and a DNS. So basically acting existing network, picking up the uh, static IP address connected, then uh, assign the uh, gateway net, network mask and a DNS server. So this is very easy, just that's how you set up the repeater. And just wanted to tell you, you can set the other way. So let's say if you have an existing network using hub, you can use the LAN as an internet source. Then tethering is where your phone is connected to the USB to the uh, this router, then acting as tethering. So feed the internet from phone. Then also 3G, 4G, USB. There is a modem that you can connect it to. So there are three devices that you can connect it to. Then let's look at the same network. So this one is the list of uh, profile that you can check. So let's say if I wanted to set up the another profile, for example, you can uh, auto scan and reconnect it. So each time. So let's disconnect and try. So I have a different uh, router now. J five G then also J at home A. Uh, basically, this is the uh, VPN server, uh, VPN server service, so it's set up on the router. This one is a local LAN, which is highest speed I can get, so let's, let's check this one. Okay, it looks like I can pick up this one, so let's try this. Oh, okay, it's done. So, it does connect it to it, then I, when I look at the same network, I can see it. Let's disconnect one more time. Anyway, I'm going to connect to the J5G features VPN server. Okay, this is how you set up the repeater. Uh, you can set up the uh, repeater option to reconnect automatically, save network, create the more than one profile. Here is the speed test I did, the JI net router 2.4 band and a 5 band. Uh, it is wirelessly connected, then also the Hue which is 5 band, 2.4 band, uh, A type and B, G type. Then ASUS router 5 band type, which is wireless connected to VPN. And the last one is connected cable 7, then using a LAN cable. So obviously you can see some of the wireless connected 2.4 is a little bit slower, and the 5 band is much faster. Then look at the ASUS 3400 router 5G band, and also LAN is connected. There is not much difference between them. And uh, below that I tested quickly some of the testing I'm done, so I'll show you how I tested it. And just basically I tell you these are uh, the uh, INET tests, and uh, just compare some on those. 
Next, OpenVPN client. I like to discuss on the OpenVPN client how to configure it.、Uh, basically, all you need to do is OpenVPN extension, which is config file.、Uh, just upload it here, then set up. So now, OpenVPN configuration, there are a number of ways you could do t h e r e are a number of、uh, companies support it.、Uh, so, most of companies OpenVPN support it. So, these are companies, and all you need to do is to download this OpenVPN config file. Then, after that, you just upload it and just start it up. So, look, let's look at one of the companies I tested it. I've been using a strong VPN. Format then, the format usually Linux and my config. Then, you just downloaded it. After downloading it, you can see one of these. Config file that you download it. Basic authentication method. There is a cipher information. Then also the IP address you want to connect it to us. So this is an open VPN server IP address which is authenticated through the 443 with the SSL with the cipher. I download that file. All you need to do is just to take this file, put it here. Then type the description. Submit it is success. Then connect it. Okay, complete. Then you have a profile here. So it does successfully connect it. Okay. So if you have multiple VPN, basically you can add the same. You can just add here and create another one, which you can differentiate the VPN depends on re region that you want to connect it to. So, next thing is you want to set up the VPN policy. It enable the VPN, but VPN cannot connect to the server. There, there might not be no internet when you change the server, VPN connected, VPN not be leaked. So, one thing you could do is So, I'll just change it. So, VPN policy is basically you can configure for based on your MAC address tied to your network, either to allow or not to allow for the device to access VPN. So, I, I have a number of the MAC address right here, you can add it to it. Then just apply. So, that will secure for OpenVPN client to connect to the OpenVPN server. Uh, I'm going to talk about the OpenVPN server next. Okay, basically, what I did was to export it to OpenVPN file from、uh, GRINet,、uh, where the OpenVPN server earlier I mentioned to you. So, all you need to do is I need to change the IP address where you connect it to. This is how you connect it to it. So, my IP address of router is 192.168. So, so, basically, the The IP address assigned this router is 192.168.1. That's where it's assigned to.、Uh, if you have the outside IP address, you can set this IP address where the actually where the listening port for the OpenVPN server is. So basically, you just import it, you start it, you connect it to it, then initialize and complete it and succeed it. That's how you do it. So, as you see, after OpenVPN started, you can see the send and receive、uh, information. After connect from the phone and configure the OpenVPN client, you will start to see the kilobyte. So, this is how the、uh, actual OpenVPN client c o n n e c t from your phone or laptop to your GLINET router after configure it. So, you can either locally connect it to it or remotely from outside world, you can do that way. Ho hope you like my videos and discuss a lot of things today and compare the GRI Net Travel Router initial settings, be testing, repeat, repeat a VPN client, VPN server, and advanced setting is. I'm going to discuss next. Anyway, hope you like my videos. And、uh, if you like my video, please thumbs up and click like. And also, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Peace. I'll see you next, guys. Bye.